Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Secrets turn to pit. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Beatrice Froze turn to pick. Bristle back! <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. You may now select your heroes. Prepare for battle. Perhaps the most hyped match, or one of the most hyped matches, at least going into this event here, yep. Secret versus Virtus Pro. Here we are to finish it off at the group stages, and I'm definitely excited here. Are you, Grant? Yeah, me too. We've seen some struggles from both these teams. I mean, it's a new patch, right? So everyone's yeah. still trying to learn, even now. I mean, you see something different. You see that Bristleback come out, and then you see Slark, you know, a natural Silver Edge kind of carrier coming out as well. And I, I think they're right. I think if VP gets a, a good lane for the Slark, they have a very good chance of taking it, just rolling over. But Secret... 
Uh, I'm still nervous. You you get that boat onto a bristleback or something, you just go crazy, run at people. You can't do much more against that. I think if Secret gets these 20 to 30 minute team fights, then you're going to be in, in a lot of trouble against this Kunkka and Bristleback. Especially yeah. if you go something like, you know, the, the Tread Solar Crest, something like that. I think you're in a lot of trouble on BP. Yeah, there's that comfort hero factors coming into play, specifically the Bounty Hunter, of course, in the yep. hands of Puppy. Uh, definitely no one for playing that. And as Gods was mentioning on the panel right there, you think of just some of the most annoying heroes to play against. Things like the Broodmother comes to mind, sure. But Bounty Hunter is up on that list, especially once Puppy's playing it. Yeah, and I was super surprised it wasn't first picked or first banned. We yeah. saw it, it finally, you know, one pick and then two, and then it finally came in on that one. And I mean, th this is a hero secret, loves to play, and you know, they finally got their hands onto it. You know, uh, I'm just trying to think how these, it, it's really hard to know how this like laning phase is going to go until we know the lanes, because it could just be the standard, no DP middle, but as you said, Kyle really wants that Slark middle, which would yeah. work out. And it looks like we, we're looking around right now. Teal, Slark is going to be bottom for now. But yeah. obviously, lanes can be rotated. We, we even saw last game, right? Navi versus Pain. A, a lot of lane swapping. I mean, a Dendi Batrider. Mm -hmm. Not even lane swapping, hero swapping at that point. Oh, yeah, so right now, Bristleback is set to be down here, of course, at the beginning. As he go for the rune. And we'll manage to take that one. So it is a 2-2 rune split. But more movement. No one. He's going to go back to the middle lane. It'll be him versus the Kunkka as of right now. Yep. That stays. There's a little Skyrath and man, Skyrath. Ugh. Yeah, another hero that. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you just get you get bolts on you, and you can't do anything about it. You'll you'll see a couple here. It looked like he wanted to actually rotate top, but why not just throw a couple bolts middle? They were talking about that too. You, the, the mana pool that this hero seems to have. You, you figure, okay, well that's like five arcane bolts. He's got to be out of mana by now, right? Yeah. It's like no, he still has a good chunk. You know, clarity's thrown in. Main goes now, especially. Definitely still going to be a very, very, very annoying here on that laning phase. So yeah, going all the way to the top lane. You do see Sand King. He is looking to pull the creep wave. So this could get interesting at the top. Yep. Bottom. Oh, bottom. I mean, that was dead. Yeah, Bristleback is just Bristleback's are not very good hero levels one through <laughs> even eight. Like Bristleback, very much struggles. People like they love doing it in pubs, right? You just go, well, Bristleback, he takes a lot less damage. I'm just gonna go to the offlane, but you have no escape mechanism. You don't yeah. really do anything. It's hard for you to get creeps as well. Roger should be okay here, but that, that's the thing, right? Like you, your strength here, you have the, the the bristly back, but how do you get? How do you kill creeps without just right clicking him? Level mm -hmm. one quill spray does nothing. Yeah, you saw right there. He's only level one, of course, and only has that quill spray, so that's not going to save him, as you're mentioning. And sure, that could get scary if he gets multiple stacks of that. But yeah, you make a great point. He really does need levels before he reaches that quote unquote tanky presence. So early on, he is susceptible to being killed. And obviously, as we saw right there, at least at the last second, Virtus Pro one nothing start now. Yep. Okay, but you do see the quill stacks are adding up, Ramses. That's up to four now. Every time the quill hits, it's, uh, it's a good chunk of damage. But Magic Stick, eventually Magic Wand, also very good in this matchup. Puppy is in a little bit of trouble as he's uh, pounced on up with the leash. Ramses, tempting death. Kinetic Field will keep Bot away. There's going to be a lot of action down here. Yeah, and going to be uh, a lot of use of stick. That's going to be the important thing. You already see him picking it up right there. Obviously, you're going to get tons from the quills. You're going to get some from Thunderstrike if you go on the, the dire side. And Middle lane, EP versus Kunkka, 9-5 versus 5-2. Obviously, I mean, mid one, the, the, the base damage is insane, especially with the sword. What, what are you going to do? Now, Tide, you are getting the Tide bringer here. It's going to be, it's going to be tough for no one. Obviously, because he's melee, you can harass him when he comes into range. So Kunkka will build up this, this CS lead early, but Death Prophet will definitely come online in about two to three minutes. Kunkka is a fun here to see in that core role. You know, the idea, of course, with the eventual build, things like that Chrysalis into the Daedalus, and, you know, if it really happens to go later on, the eventual Divine Rapiers could come out. So yeah. hard hitting is definitely a thing, and as far as counter pushing, it is there. But, yeah, definitely I got vision goes, on goes throughout. Yeah, you mentioned Puppy, though. Not so secret. Going to be spotted. Nice Sentry Ward. Usually you put the Sentry Ward right in the middle of the river because mm -hmm. you, you want to get an Observer, you want to scale up that bounty. I like how they put it closer to their tower so he'll always see him if he comes from that side of the hill. Obviously, if he comes from Dyer's side, then you're not going to know he's there, but... <laughs> Got to come from somewhere. Yeah, I really, man, I really like that Sentry Ward middle, actually. Good it's like uncounterable. Another game where Abaddon, his uh, Aphotic Shield is going to be pretty strong. The, they were going over several things, you know, the track for one, a Silence from Skyrath is just one of the many abilities it seems like he can remove this game. He was being drained right there at the top lane as the middle, getting you know, back and forth, but he's doing a pretty good job up here at the top, 15-2. and two. Razor is 18-4, and four, though, so Ace is 
technically winning the lane. And when you talk about that silence, that's going to be the problem, though. I think uh, I think the Adler is going to be the prime silence target. True. Obviously, you can't take it off yourself, so that is going to be tough. But solo? Kinetic field, the last quill spam is not enough. He oh. comes back and actually does, and he hits hit by the quill as a result of the kill. Fanta, Ramsey's got solo right there, but just enough to survive himself with a stick. He is, God, that was close on both sides. Yep, and worth it. He he went back in to dust, so maybe Ramsey's yeah. could have a double kill, which I don't blame him for, a little aggressive, but guess what? You just traded your, your five position support for, for the that core. Yeah, always going to be worth it. And you know solo is all about that. Roger, keep, he's back home. No one. As a siphon up on mid one currently, not going to be a kill again, just regening himself, if anything, also harassing. Um, so we talked about the potential, you know, Silver Edge carrier in Slark. We've actually seen it a couple times this event already, just kind of a natural build for him. Do you think it's just going to be right at, into a Silver Edge this game? Shadow Blade Silver Edge? It could be Treads Aquila, definitely Shadow Blade. I, I think you could Maybe just go Necosaber. Silver Edge. I, I, yeah, it depends if you want to be more active on the map. No one should go down here. All right, he does tank up the very far he is. No one's going to survive for now. Wow. Poppy wants to hunt him down. They were so close to the kill. They just need one more attack. The bolt is coming out, and no one. Ooh, hell of an effort to get away, but he will ultimately be run down. Yapster is credit for the kill. Roger tried to come in and save him, but uh, you just can't run away from a Skyrat this early into the game. You're just not enough movement on the map. He's just going to run you down with bolts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Skyrath mentioned. Oh, Kyle was mentioning that earlier today on the panel, just in general, a hero that maybe we could start seeing a bit more of as teams use him more and yeah, more. And he was, an example here. He's really big a little bit ago. Well, looks like Solo here should go down as well. But I mean, you see the stick come out, but they'll just run him down. Stick, the one in this game is insane value for Virtus Pro. We yep. Obviously, you have Bristleback. Skyrath is another example where it's actually great against him. So. But Man, that's, that's actually a one-for-one one trade. Roger ganks middle, they kill mid one they as well. So, right. DP, he's going to be having a, a pretty nice time right there. He's going to be about level six after this wave here. And I was thinking, I mean, Skyrat, the right, the last time he was popular was back when you could just send arcane bolts at level one and then just go die to neutrals. That, that used to be the thing, right? And then yeah. you, you, you had three second respawn time, obviously. Now that got nerfed since you're dead for like 25 seconds if you do that, but. It's good to see him back. I love the innate, just insane burst damage. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to do plenty. Now, oh. Puppy, he's going to spot this smoke. Did not get solo caught up just yet, but here we go. Ramsey's looking to jump in. Going to change the attention to the option. Maybe no, they got the bounty hunter with the dust uh -oh. coming out. They cannot stop the TP, though. And wow. he actually gets out in time. Well played by Puppy there, knowing that they didn't have a stopper at that point. Yeah. And that's, I think that's why Ramsey's went on the Skyrath. He knew something like that could happen, but they get zero kills out of that. And Secret playing very well in the laning phase so far. See Ace topping the CS charts by a, a high margin. He has a couple of mangoes himself to work with. What is the build going to be on Ace, you think? Is it the drums, home of the Dominator? Is there something that really stands out to you? Hold that thought, because middle lane, mid one, he's sitting in the boat. It's not going to be enough, though. It connects just a little bit too late. Oh. Might get the turn kill, Roger? No. Yeah, go in the tower, he's fine. And he tried, you, you saw he was actually pulling his hand back to bring the X back while the boat was coming, but nice oh. play by no one. Bring him down now. Be a turn kill though. Oh, the Shuriken, it's not enough, he's fine. And now no one can kind of just stay here, right? Cause the ghost will heal him back up. You don't want to get like the Shuriken somehow though. So you're gonna hide a little bit. Looks like they might shrine possibly. Right off there and yeah, heading over to that shrine area. Back to Razor, though. Is there an item that I, comes to mind? Uh, I like Helm of the Dominator here. I think especially because you want to take those team fights, and having a Helm's always good, as well as an extra creep. We'll Abba. See. Abba's going for the one on their team, though. No surprise. Yeah. That's just, it's still always going to be a very good item. Ace also, I mean, this is one of those games, S and Y, because you want to take those early fights. I actually, I, I don't hate it all. Gives you damage, gives you the move speed, mm -hmm. gives you team fight control. It's not terrible. I also wonder too, you know, with the Helm of the Dominator creep, getting a, a mana burn uh, against a Bristleback yeah. would be interesting, but uh, not that he's going to be hunting for it necessarily, but next boat. Boat's coming in. There is plenty here. Four heroes in total. The Ancient Seal, they land the Torrent. That should secure the kill. Without that Torrent, I don't think they get it. So that was just on the outskirts of it as well. Good class, but again, that's four heroes, but it's what Secret needs to do. Kill the middle lane and now transition into the tower kill most likely. First back bottom lane, Shadow Dance activated by Ramses. Not only to survive, but help by time for the turn kill as Roger does run down Fata in response. And this is the problem. It's not like, I mean, Secret, they are going to get a lot of kills this game, more than likely, but they can't really go into tower pushing unless your Razor has a ton of damage. They just don't have the best tower hitter. Skyrath, Bounty, not good supports at doing that. On the other side, it's, it's the same thing, though. Disruptor, Sand King, not the best tower pushers, but at least you have a DP. 
yeah, Death Prophet with that exorcism, of course, uh, is pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good at pushing those towers. But like you mentioned, two secret, Eye of the Storm, a good tool. But again, it's just himself is not as enhanced. And you, you have to get the Ags for that. It's either Ags or a, a ton of stolen damage or just five manning, which mm -hmm. opens up the map. And you don't want to open up the, you, you don't want to give Ramses any space to farm a lot like HFN last series. You give him two to three minutes, all of a sudden he has an extra item. Well, Slark specifically, we've seen that several times by different players here in this yep. event. And I want to say Ramses has actually played it once. Yep. yep. Previous series as well. And that Shadow Blade timing, it's got a thousand gold saved up working on it, going the usual as you'd expect. Not a full one, it at least has a stick though. Yep, all you need. He wants to get that Shadow Blade a little bit quicker. And now it's a lot easier, right? From level one to five, it's so hard for him. He just gets bristle spammed. Even with that stick, he gets super low. But now that he's level six, you know, push out a wave, dark pack, run behind your tower, heal up with your ulti. Yeah. There it is. Helm of the Dominator. Boots. Helm of the Dominator finished on Abaddon, though. It's talked about Roger. No what? blink or anything like that, but. That's interesting skill. He went one four two, which means he has two in his 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 frostmorn or his, his sword. Curse. Yeah, which means he really wants to solo push towers right there, and I like that since they don't have the best tower push. Well, they would like to find a kill on Puppy, and they're hunting him down. Puppy trying to be a little sneaky, invisible the area, buying some time for reinforcements to come in. Ace, he's going to be glimpsed back though, nice. as he runs in there. But Puppy does live. You know that was quite the distraction coming out by nice. Bounty Hunter, and that's what he tends to do: be a distractor. I do like this. That's all. Oh, that's all. This app is gonna be just a space maker, not a way where he like he goes and finds kills, but he makes people come to his lane. Are you gonna lose your tower versus that home of the Dominator? Meanwhile, Roger, he's gonna run, and we saw in the middle lane there that was simply a defensive boat coming out from mid one just to make sure he stays alive. This is what the panel was talking about. It's just you. You see, secret they're rotating three or four people to get these kills, but then you're always leaving either no one or Ramses to farm, and mm -hmm. and they're not even finding that many kills, right? They rotate people up here, but they didn't kill anyone. They're down five to four, in fact. Yeah. As far as the hero kills are concerned, Helber Smasher is actually going to use that to pull the creep wave. So Pasha, nice. well played there. He's got the siege creep with it on top of that. We'll see if he takes it even over yeah, for himself. More but. than likely. Fought is still fought it. Is, is farming good. not the best, but I mean levels. Level eight on that. He's one of those that you need levels there more than go. gold on early. And looks like going for the Vanguard, I assume, especially against the Slark. Trying to bait out Ramsey's right there. You see the rotations coming in. Kunkka specifically would have been the big target, but unable to get there in time. Ramsey's a little too quick. He knows what's going on. He's already falling back. Puppy's still trying to find him, but again, Ramsey's, he, he, he's very aware. <laughs> yep. There's more wait than a couple minute. heroes there. Yeah, and also, obviously, he knows when Puppy's in biz that he's like, wait a minute, why am I not moving fast anymore? I don't see anyone. That's because true. Because it, it, it takes it up, and this is the problem. No one's rotating top. There's going to get a free tower, or nobody's rotating top to VP game. Yeah, yeah I guess th that's that. actually an interesting point you bring up about the whole Shadow Dance passive of Slark. Is he's You'll know where Puppy is. Yeah, he already knows well. Exactly. Is that... Could you almost call that like a counter of sorts? I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a counter like passively and it's always going to be good. So, you know, he's there, but mm -hmm. they have some kind of vision, whether it's him or maybe a ward. Of course, that happens to spot you. Yeah, uh, it is good for that. And so constantly paying attention to that buff is important on the hero, which I'm sure Ramsey's is on top of. There's track now. Obviously, shield can't take it up, but he just throws it on after the shield's used. And look at that. This is, this is what I mean. He makes space. He's not getting kills or killing it on the map. He's just pushing a tower. Nobody's rotating up here. Mm -hmm. Well, now, now somebody there is. is. All right, there you go. Making his way. Bottom uh -oh. lane, though, that's going to be a close back, though. Fonta has to fight this. Now, Solo may end up dying because it is, but oh. that's kind of worth it so far. We'll see what happens in the long run. Roger. He's uh, he's still hiding nearby. They don't really know that. The top lane looks like Bounty Hunter's up there for now. That's it. And yeah. he's still alive. But now with this, they're like, wait a minute. He just glimpsed me back, but no one yeah. rotated on me. I'm just going to continue hitting this tower. No one's here now, but that does a lot of damage. Here come the TP still solo, including being resurrected. The epicenter on top of Fata. He is tanky now, level 9, but I'm guessing it's not going to be tanky enough. Yeah, they eventually run him down, and despite the quills constantly in response, it's too much damage to handle. So that glimpse does pay off in the end. They don't get the top tower, but they do get the kill on Bristleback. Yep, plenty of damage. They saved their own tier 2 as well, which I actually didn't think they'd go for, and they did almost take it down. Now, I, I'm wondering who's going to be the first team to five, man. It feels like Secret kind of has to be, because Ramses can always just go off and farm. Your ABBA can, can defend these towers nicely mm -hmm. without dying. Disruptor going to be the last one to hit <laughs> level six, as we see there. Shadow Blade finish, though, on Slark. As we know, very important. Again, you know, Echo Saber possible, but Silver Edge is going to be a pretty high priority, it seems like, this game. Still pretty quick because he does have the treads and Aquila. At 13 minutes, still gets the Shadow Blade. You see him, he just efficiently farms the jungle as well as one lane every game. Pasha. 
There's the shield going up. Gonna be still followed up on with a torrent and everything, but it's just too tanky. He had borrowed time as well. I mean, they're not getting that kill. See there. I mean, the thing with the Silver Edge, though, at the same time, it, Bristleback so far isn't necessarily the most threatening, and you don't want to overdo it, right? Like, yeah. the Silver Edge, because, oh, yeah, counters a Bristleback, but if he's not really that huge of a factor, do you really invest into it? You, so You still just want the stats, though. I mean, you just have to buy an old 2 4 which is nice. Ooh. Wow, Ace gets killed bottom by Ramsey's well solo, and they're going to get out. That's huge, and this is what you. This is what Kyle was talking about. They're just secret. Just kind of looks like they're just running around the map, and they're not finding anything with this track. They haven't gotten one track kill yet. They haven't. You're they haven't right. And it, it feels like it's still gonna even be hard to get him because that Abba is gonna be taking him off in the middle of these fights. And he's level eight, so the idea of him not getting a track kill, pretty significant. That's one of the big reasons for, of course, picking up a bounty hunter is you want to start snowballing with those kills. Yep. Not happening so far as you mentioned. He is scouting out right now, maybe hoping for a courier snipe. That would be something, but a smoke play from Virtus Pro, and they were not seen, as we see, Roger, near the bounty hunter on the back lines, but double damage rune, of course, we're not gonna pick it. Oh, right. I thought about not picking it up. Yeah, but. they just want Ramsey's farm. Oh, chicken will go down, sorry, okay. I saw that, and that's a Yule's. That's a Yule's, yeah, big one. and they, I don't know if they can go in now. Virtus Pro's still in the area, thinking about it, but as soon as that happens, yeah, probably wanna back off. It looks like that's exactly what they're gonna do. That's a huge pick. There you go, sure. bounty hunter. That was interesting either way, right? Because that, that courier definitely could have just flown over a ward and they would have seen, they'd been like, wait a minute, we didn't see DP go over into the river. So yeah. they're just going to try to pressure this tower, but I don't think they want to commit to a fight here. We'll see, though. Bata just spamming that goo. They got the X on Pasha, but I don't see no follow up. Yeah. Just a stare down right now. <laughs> but they have the siege unit from the Helm of the Dominator, so it'll be a little yeah. bit easier to push this just because of that. Slark. He's full five. Blank. Roger, I'm guessing yet. Oh, he doesn't it's have ten. yet. This is 10 here in the middle. Have a center is running. Here we go. Five versus five. Slark off the back. It's absolutely decimated. But here we go. Response from Beardus Pro. Razor. He's being uh, siphoned on top of him. He will eventually go down. In comes Mystic Flare, though, spreading a lot of damage. The, sh the boat on top of that. Bata eventually falls despite the quill span. They did lose Sand King right before that as well. And it is a two for three in favor of Virtus Pro, despite losing Slark right off the bat to that insane burst damage. They were able to respond despite it. Yep, and you see it, it was one track kill, but it's still reasonably even because they got the tier one tower as well and it wasn't denied. So VP, they're happy that they're like, wow, we want to fight without Ramses because he just ran in and died immediately. Yeah. That was a nice response from Secret, but still you see that team fight, all the ulties from VP. Gyrath that being Kaya. pointed out there, the Kaya picked up on this here. Interesting to see an item we don't see often, but definitely a Skywrath comes to mind. Yep. You really don't. Skywrath, Storm, maybe. A lot yeah. of Storms still don't get it now, actually, no. but... Like Techies, maybe. Yeah. Again, it's... Like, he's probably one of the only ones you'd think, okay, well, yeah, probably part of his core build. I don't know. Anyways, he has it here. That's what matters. Echo Saber is in the works for Slark. And you see Ramsey's pings on top of himself because he knows that mm -hmm. someone's nearby, more than likely it's Puppy. Yep. And now he's waiting to see you. You can just see that aura on him always. But he's in Viz himself. Oh, they see him. They got it. Like, that's that's just heads up at its finest right there. Convertus Pro. Well, now Puppy's still alive. Okay. Need a couple more auto attacks and maybe expected, but the affirmative comes out. And again, that's just a, a great paying attention to detail. That hero. He's going to try to make some space on the map. They know that Slark is top. And that's why these two are the best teams in the world. You, you see someone shows on the map. You just go. You try to push out another lane to make someone commit down there. BKB. He is rushing. That, that We'll call it basically his first item. Obviously, the others kind of build up more so the, the, the phase boots. But BKB, necessary, you think? Yeah, it's early on. you have to, especially versus Sand King. Sand King's going to have a blink very shortly. And the silence. I think one of the biggest things is that silence coming out from DP. If you somehow, like don't get your Link off in a fight and you get silenced, mm -hmm. you're not a hero. You're not a hero without Link. Bid one with the armlet. Didn't really mention that yet, but we okay. saw that earlier. That's how good no one's farming right now. He actually got a hood before the chicken respawned with his Yules. <laughs> so he has a full Yules and hood now. They don't have the quickest roach lineup, but with that Helm of the Dominator, as well as Ghost that just came up one second ago, will they pop it? That's a good yes. point. Yes, they will. The answer. Um, that fight that happened, they did not even have the Yules on Death Prophet. Yeah. So he was undervalued net worth and a double damage room gladly spawns there. Oh, and Puppy knows they're there. He's pinging them, but it doesn't matter. They can't get there quick enough. 
they're, they're heading over, but yeah, it's gonna be too late as we see the smoke's smoke. not gonna work. <laughs> Silence does come out though, quick yields from Razor. It is BKB gonna be activated after the fact. Puppy, you got those back in the answers from a distance, just doing what he can with the damage that BKB of Ace will barely keep alive in the back lines. As we see Slarka, that's Kanka actually getting low now. They did kill Sanking Kanka. The Siphon will help finish him off as well as that Dark Pact. And now Slark gonna reset, battle regenerate, hit some of that life. Fata. Still plenty tanky. Silence up currently. Speaking of silence, the Ancient Seal currently on Abaddon. Tossing him up. He does not Ooh. have a time anymore, but the Mystic Flare will burn down Slark. Again, Pasha cannot save him because of the science, but now as he comes back up, they definitely want to go on Greatest Pro's side. Dark Pack purging initially. He got some damage drained, however. And Greatest Pro resetting in full right now. Roger's coming up in three seconds. But Ace was taunting. He was solo that whole fight. He wanted he Ramses really to low, jump yeah. on him, yeah. And that's the problem, right? He used his first item BKB, but guess what? Those ghosts just ate him alive during that whole thing. He pops BKB, and he's like, well, they can't stun me or anything, but the ghosts <laughs> just melt him. The fact that he got away, though, is pretty yeah. impressive, and, it's, uh, and that's, uh, you know, the good um, idea by him to not try to just man fight the Running, yeah. one, running away actually proved to be the correct decision there. Uh, the only problem is Secret, they're 2k gold down with a, a bounty hunt on their team at 20 minutes. You see the, the two top most farmed as well are Ramsey's and no one again. Mm -hmm. Game in, game out, even against a bounty hunter. You're just not seeing these track kills and that's all because the ABBA is purging it off these targets. And a blink is coming for Sanking now. He's going to yep. have that finished here very shortly. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> We're here. Yapsor Yaps will dead. end up going down. Ramsey's though. He's still looking to make some plays. Pops a Shadow Dance as he got X back in there. Puppy runs on by. The Quill Spam for Fata. Again, it does add up, especially as the fight continues on, but they get the lockdown on Razor and a Centaur Stomp. Double kill for Ramsey's coming out. Pasha controlling that Centaur with the helm of the Dominator. The nice Stomp to successfully get that kill. They want more out of this. Fata, he's going to be lifted up in the air with the Eels. They see Kunkin on the back lines. Low on life. Going to get an armlet toggle out of this? Probably not. Ramsey's picks up a hat trick. And they're gonna go right back for the tower. Even Bristleback still in the area. He's still distracting the best he can. Epicenter's even ready though. Gonna hide in the trees. Only really find him just yet, but again, the tower, it's gonna fall here. They, they're gonna use fortification. Secret really does not want to give this up for free. We'll have to go down here. Is he up for all time? Oh, he does not. Yeah, that was close. Mystic Flare is gonna miss though. Yeah, just now caught, however, by the eels. Ramsey's going in. Did Secret oh, really need to defend this is the question. I mean, it's, it didn't seem like they needed to, and they're gonna lose even more out of this. Fonta's now in trouble too. He's gonna get caught unless he can, he doesn't have a TP actually, so he's just gonna keep running. Until he, space. Yeah, until he inevitably gets caught up to here, you figure. But I mean, it is a Bristleback. Oh, he is taking, he gets this back turn, but another, Another triple kill of sorts for Ramsey. That that just felt odd to me for Secret. Yeah, they, they tried defending that tier two. They couldn't get it done. A good try to kill that Abba. They know he didn't have the ulti up, but it didn't matter. He played it well and got out of there. 19 to nine. Now you see Ramsey's 3,000 gold up on Ace on that Razor. Like this, Roger. Invis. Did, try to scout something out. Did Sark so. just get six kills in that fight? I think because he got two triple kills, I'm pretty sure. He might have. Because I'm pretty sure uh, Yapsers came back after dying in Oh, yeah. And then <laughs> died again. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. rough. And this is what the uh, panel is talking about. Secret has to group up, has to win these mid-game team fights. They're just going to get yeah. run over by Ramsey Slark, and that's what he's doing. So going back to Bristleback, we talked about the play against him. Uh, what about Bristleback himself? You know, he, he has a Vanguard. I know early on it was no hood, but I think he was going blade mill actually. Was he now? I, I think that's what you got to do. You got to make it's like it's not really a game changing item, but it's a little bit better than than just straight up hood. You pop it. You hope people don't notice and they just blow spells on you. It's your best case scenario. Mm -hmm. And that is he did go Echo Saber and now he is going to have the Silver Edge next fight, too, though. And ooh. Get this Abaddon, meanwhile, 1,500 gold saved up towards a Radiance. He's thinking about getting, but even so with a Solar Crest Helm of the Dominator, he's doing yeah. plenty for the team. They've taken the tier two top and like, oh, we still have a tier one bottom. That's just free gold we can get. Middle lane. They find a chance for our kill on Ace. He pops the BKB. He's going to run for the time being. It is down to eight seconds. Pardon me. I was wondering if they want to go in still. Oh, well, I also saw that break effect coming out. So, yeah, you see the Silver Edge finished on Slark. But again, just not enough for a chase. However, Roger, the different story is not going to actually kill him. The Glyph's back and they catch Ace in the end. What a chase from British Pro. It works out beautifully. Fata may be able to TP out of here. Nope, never mind. Another double kill for Ramses. Can they stop this? No, they cannot. 
Good silence just before the TP, but bottom line, while that's happening, what is the going on? Block. Brutus Bro is running in, body block is mentioned, Kaka's gonna end up falling. This is just falling apart now for Secret of all sorts. Um, I know I was, I was telling you a little bit earlier, I'm like, if, VP, if VP plays like they did earlier, I know Secret, you know, top three in the DPC points, but VP looks uh, just a tier above literally everyone else, and they are playing exactly like they did yesterday. Good game, 23 minutes. GG, well played. Yep. It will be I, official here in game one. I don't. I just don't know. VP just looks so amazing right now. The draft looked good, and I, they just got everything they needed to. Ramses once again, always finds farm, even though, you know, maybe it was going to be a tough lane down there against the Bristleback. They kill him multiple times, and he just farms up, goes to the jungle, farms up, gets a Shadow Blade.